What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today I wanted to take you guys upstairs into our master bathroom and I am going to color my hair to this color. So my hair was very, very blonde. I'll pull up a picture right here of right whenever I had received the parcel of how to color my hair at home. And I really love this idea. It's kind of becoming a trend on this channel of how to be basically like a frugal fashionista or a frugal, you know, beauty at home on a budget, how to DIY it. I feel like we need a name for that series because I try to do my own nails, just like I shared with the hair removal system at home. I had done a video on that. And I really do love beauty and fashion on a budget and also that is time friendly. So you can just do it yourself and that it's easy and painless. And that's what this is. It's like the easiest, safest way to color your own hair. And that way you can keep your hair colored in between visits and keep it healthy. So I completely DIY'd it. What you're gonna need is the Moroccan oil, depositing mask in your color. I will pull up the shade finder. So you've got to figure out what hair color you have to begin with and be real and honest with yourself if it's possible. And then you'll figure out which color that you want based off of the end result that they can predetermine for you. So some colors won't work. Obviously if your hair is super dark and you want it pink, it might not show up, but figure it out based off of the chart. you can just get the depositing mask at Sephora. I'm pretty sure Ulta has it as well. I'll link it down below for you guys. I used the color Coco and it worked so freaking well. Like I love it, I love it for fall. And I thought that it was just so easy to use. So what you're gonna need is obviously the mask. You'll need some sort of a detangling brush or a tangle teaser brush or a wide tooth comb brush, whatever works for you. Obviously don't use like a white one or a color, or lightly colored one cause it's gonna get color on it. So I just used a black one and I brushed out all my hair before. I divided it into three sections and I went through just with some gloves. So that's the other thing that you're gonna need, especially, I would say no matter which color you're doing, but especially if you have a dark color like the one that I had, use gloves. So I had some from, that had come with like a tanning kit. So I just used those and I, put, I popped those on, divided my hair, made sure it was combed through before. And I just kind of smushed it through my hair. I started up at the roots and I put a little bit more at the roots just to cover like any gray hairs. Ugh, gray hairs and all of the blonde that I had in here. I actually had a ton of blonde. So I went through, I did all of that. And I have to say it just were, it just took to the hair super, super well because I chose to do it completely dry. So make sure that your hair is clean. Make sure that it's either towel dried or completely dry. It will just take to the hair way better. And so that's what I did. I waited till my hair was totally dry and then you leave it in. It says to leave it in for five, seven minutes. I left it in for about 20 maybe a bit longer. Like the longer you leave it in, the better it's gonna work. And then you rinse it out, and this is important, with cold water. So I just flipped my head upside down into my tub, used a wand, you can do it in the shower, it doesn't matter, but use cold water. It'll take out less of the color, it'll stay better. And I have to say, I was shocked by the results. Like whenever I just put it up in a bun and it was still wet, I was like, okay, wow, that worked really well. And then, the magic happens when you start to dry it because you'll really see the color come through. So what I did before I started my blow dry process, I've been using the Olaplex number, there's so many numbers. I wanna say number three is the, the bonding one that helps, I'll list them all down below, but there's one that's like the one that will really, really help you that you can leave in as like a pre-shampoo and conditioner. And there's the number seven, which is the oil. I used that one. And I think it's the, I'm pretty sure it's the number six, which is like a bonding cream that you can use as a styling cream. So those were the two that I used. The three is what you would use before you wash your hair. I shared my shampoo and my conditioner and my leave-in treatment the other day. I also want to mention that my hair has grown so much. Like I would love to do a how I grew my hair video because I think that that would be pretty eye-opening. So I shared a couple tips from that the other day in my get ready with me video. I shared my shampoo, my conditioner, my hair mask, and all the tools that I use to blow dry my hair. The other thing I've been loving Olaplex and Moroccan oil. So I use their bonding cream as well on the tips and it's just helping so much with breakage and all of that. The other thing that I've been using is the Moroccan oil blow dry oil concentrate, I think it's called. And it basically cuts your blow dry time in half. And then I use my Dyson hair dryer, which I have nothing but good things to say about that. So I dried up my hair, styled it with a big round brush, and I am 
so happy with the results. The other thing that happened yesterday that I was sharing with you guys, and I want to mention this because we're going to be doing giveaways all month long. And I want to make sure that the giveaway items are going out to the winners throughout the month. Cause most of them are, some of them will be Halloween themed. And the ones that we just, just talked about the other day in the decorate with me was the coasters. I think they're back there. So I ordered an extra pair of coasters and I ordered a hocus pocus tank top that says squad on it. It's super cute. So huge congratulations to Lucille Marie. She won the giveaway. We Andre and I literally just looked at each other yesterday out of 107,000 people on this channel. We just looked at each other and he said, who do you think should win? And we both said Lucille at the same time. Cause we always see her commenting. She's always DMing us. She's always messaging us on Instagram. She's always commenting on everything. So usually one of the first people to comment, that's really all that it is. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're engaged. So for the next giveaway, if you're following on stories and you're following on Instagram, I yesterday got an amazing amount of messages from you guys about the Aldo X Disney. And I went straight to Aldo to get a pair of loafers. And a couple of you guys messaged me saying that you guys got them as well. Now I couldn't do a giveaway for a pair of shoes because I don't know what size the winner is going to be. Right? So what I did is I picked up a pair of sunglasses. I picked up a shoe clip, a Mickey shoe clip. I'm going to be gifting it all to one lucky winner. And I'm probably going to throw in some extra Disney stuff. So I'll share that in a, in a next video, but I wanted to let you guys know, we're just going to keep going with the giveaways all throughout the month. And I'll keep announcing the winners every other day and we'll get them out to you guys as soon as possible. So make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that you're commenting, make sure that you're liking and make sure that you guys are on Instagram as well. I'm posting every single day and let me know what you guys are thinking about the videos and if you guys are loving them. And also these are filmed in real time. This was filmed on Saturday. I don't even know what day it is, but it, it's literally in real time. So if you want to see something, it can happen. So I think that's kind of cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the hair color treatment, the DIY beauty stuff. If you guys have any questions, any other stuff that you guys want to see or any suggestions for heck, what the heck, what the, what the heck am I supposed to call this series? Like beauty on a budget. I don't know. Bougie on a budget frugal fashionista. I don't know. Drop your suggestions down below and I'll keep going with it. And I hope that this was helpful and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes. What you doing?